everybody welcome to epic brew i'm tom today i'm excited because the chivalry 2 open beta kicked off literally just hours ago for me right now uh i haven't jumped into any gameplay yet because i noticed something on the main menu that gave me pause and that's this button right here it says armory and it's lit up and i think that means I can customize my characters this time around. So, haven't seen anything about this yet. I don't know what we're getting into here. Okay, customization. Let's close that. It's a nice little message, but I don't want to read it right now. So, these are the four player classes that you work with. Uh, Archer, Soldier, Soldier, Soldier. There you go. That's the official names of them all. Customization here. Archer, Vanguard, Footman, and Knight. Okay, I was... Not close, but I got this guy right. I got the most important one right, you know? Okay, so I guess let's just, um, let's start with the knight. Let's go! Wow, look at this. Head type, head color, hair, beard. I like that. Nickname. Nickname, really. Voice, face paint, imperfections. So I guess that's like scars and stuff, maybe? Let's just jump in and see what's, uh... So these are all the default ones, it looks like. Everything's got a little dot. Oh, look at this. There you go. This is like... It's brown, but that it looks like a potato there. There you go. This is... I have the feeling they got their colors a little mix-matched here. But hey, whatever. That's... That's, that is what it is. Okay, let's go through the faces here. The astrologer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Interesting. The apprentice. Okay. The armorer. Oh, he looks angry. I'm not going to mess with the colors for every one of them. I'll just kind of leave it toward the middle there. The baker. <laughs> nice. The bargeman. Okay, interesting. The blacksmith, all right. Pretty tough looking guy. The boatman, okay. The brewer, the epic brewer. There we go. Interesting, the butcher. Nice, he looks a little ill, but okay. The carpenter, the diplomat, ew. Huh, a little rough looking there. The falconer, Fal that's falconer, right? Not falconer. Falconer, the farmer, the forester, all right, the glass blower, oh jeez, oh no, the groom, that's pretty handsome, the guard, the lumberjack, all right, the messenger, oh no, the noble, <laughs> jeez, that is uh, the eager voice, if I've ever seen a face for it. The officer, all right, a little arrogant looking there. The sailor, oh, he's seen some rough seas. The scout, nice. The soldier, okay, I think this was the default for everybody in the, the closed beta. The squire, the stonemason, okay. The tanner, the tutor, excuse you. The veteran, oh no. Ah, oh, jeez, buddy. That's a little rough. You got hit in the head with a mace or something, it looks like. The Watchman. Okay. And then the Weasel. That's not really a weasel looking to me. Alright, and then we got the ladies. Apparently there's 31 men and 13 ladies. But it is what it is. The Cook. Oh, that's... I mean, I guess the guys are pretty ugly too, so I don't know what I was expecting. Let's keep it in the middle there. The, the dyer, okay. Kind of looks like uh, Enfy's nest a bit. The falconer, okay. The Fletcher, little bloodshot eyes going on. The glass blower, oof, that's a little rough. The guard, the messenger, the nun, the nurse. What is that one? It looks like she's wearing lipstick. Huh. The potter, the soldier. The steward and the tanner. What? I feel like these two are questionably... I mean, hey, it's 2021. You do you, right? 
Okay, let's just go with, uh, here we go, randomly picked. Um, helmets. I'm not really sure. Is it just shinier? Is that the difference here, it looks like? The lighting effect is different, okay. Tilton helmet. Okay. So yeah, you have gold that you can unlock. I got 24,000 gold to work with here. The bassinet. There you go. Oh, you can't like pivot it around. I guess they just move on their own, huh? Yeah, they just move on their own. Pig face bassinet. It's different like shades. I guess that's the gimmick here. It's just different shades of the same helmet shape. Okay, ooh, fancy there. And then a jousting helmet. Frog mouth. He's got to turn his whole shoulders like Batman from the early 90s. The Mordhau devs said they didn't know how to make this happen in Mordhau, but then Shift 2 made it happen. Mordhau devs take note. The people want the frog mouth. And then a fet a bloom for the frog mouth. They are just they're just throwing sand at the Mordhau devs with this, huh? Interesting. All right. Armor set. Plate weathered. Okay. Engraved plate. Ooh. Kingsguard plate knight. Fancy boy. Jousting knight. Legendary. Oh yeah, I got the special edition. I splurged a little bit, you know. Treat yourself. Heraldry. Is this like, uh... I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's just, um, like icons? Or... Like the symbols that show up on your armor, but I can't like pivot them around so I can't really see what that is. Maybe it's just like the flags. Maybe it shows up on the flags. I don't know. Don't know what heraldry is, sorry. Weapons? Ooh. The bastard size, a big bastard sword. Rusty bastard sword. The royal bastard sword. And then the long sword. Rusty long sword, long sword, and then royal long sword. So dirty. Default. Fancy. There you go. Is that all the Okay, and then the war axe. Okay, so some of these classes share all the weapons, so these aren't just exclusive to the knight, so keep that in mind. Uh, the winged axe, the weathered winged axe, and then the royal winged axe. I'm, I'm noticing a theme here. Rusty, berserkers, royal berserkers, the fancy one, and then Agatha berserkers axe. Okay, very cool. The heavy mace. Heavy Grand Mace, Weathered Heavy Grand Mace, and then the Royal Heavy Grand Mace. That's nice. The Heavy Flanged Mace? I might be saying that wrong. This kind of looks like the equivalent to the Evening Star in Mordhau, as far as like shape and design goes. Pretty standard looking weapon there. The Pole Axe, Curved Pole Axe. The weathered curved pole axe and then the royal curved pole axe and then the default pole axe or just regular pole axe weathered default and then royal there you go the warhammer horseman's pick okay the rusty one and then the fancy one there you go and then the warhammer weathered warhammer regular warhammer and then the golden warhammer, that looks nice. That looks quite nice. Then we got the axe. Horseman's axe. Rusty horseman's axe. Gold horseman's axe. Okay. Then the viking axe. Weathered viking axe. Default. Fancy, I like the carving on that. It looks like a little Jormungandr in there. Kind of spiraled up. That's pretty cool. The falchion, oh, ooh, that is a chonky falchion. The rusty cleaver falchion, and then the engraved cleaver falchion. And this is the default, so still, it's like, it's pretty big. I mean, I'm comparing it to Mordhau, like, I don't really know what these weapons look like in real life. Uh, the regular falchion, and then the royal falchion, I like that. 
These are some nice looking skins. The Messer. The Krieg's Messer. <laughs> Jeez, that's so big. The Dull Krieg's Messer. Rusty. So they got Rusty and Dull. The difference is... I think the handle is mostly the biggest difference here. It changes colors from red to black. And then the Royal one. Ooh, that looks slick. Can you zoom in? No, you can't zoom in. And then Engraved. Now we're talking. And then this word right here. I'm going to try to pronounce it. The Mace Jowski. The Macy Jowski. <laughs> the Weathered Macy Jowski. Look at that thing. That's like a Urukai sword from Lord of the Rings. And then the default Macy Jowski. And then the Royal one. That's pretty cool looking. Looks like it says okay right there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's the Messer skins. We got a couple more left. The Battle Axe. Double Axe. Weathered Double Axe. Royal Double Axe. And then we got the Bowtie Axe. Rusty. Default. And then Royal. Okay. Nothing too crazy there. Two-handed Hammer. The Nadziak. Ooh. That looks fun. The War Nadziak. And then the Gold Nadziak. Again, probably not saying that correctly, and I apologize for my lack of education. <laughs> the Rusty Beheader Axe. And then the default one, and then the Imperial Beheader Axe. Don't really like it. looks like a mustard stain on the end of it, but the rest of it looks pretty cool. The Bowed Axe. Rusty. Worn. Default. Royal. No mustard stain. And the Agatha Boat Axe. Okay, that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a flag. But that does look kind of cool. And then secondary weapons now. Arming Sword. The Rusty Variant. The Ivory Arming Sword. Protect the Elephants. Don't unlock that weapon. <laughs> and then the Engraved Arming Sword. There you go, that looks pretty nice. The Bronze Sword Weathered. The Default. And then the Royal. That's really nice looking right there. I like that a lot. Then we got the mace. Weathered. Flanged. Flanged? I don't know how to say that. And then royal flanged. That's really nice looking. That's probably top three so far for me. The blunt mace. Aged. Engraved. And blunt. There you go. Hatchet. A very good book by Gary Paulson. Aged Hunting Hatchet. Hunting Hatchet. And then Studded Hunting Hatchet. It's, that creeps me out for some reason. I don't know why. But the little bumps. Even in Mordhau when the weapons have like the little bumps on the shaft. It just... Ugh, not for me. Utility Hatchet. Worn Utility Hatchet. The default. And then the Damascus Utility Hatchet. Again, it just looks it looks like an alien, like uh, like a monster hunter kind of weapon skin, you know? Not a big fan of those. Short sword. The Carolingian. Again, probably mispronouncing that. The rusty one. And then the pattern welded Carolingian. And then the cat's blagger. Weathered cat's blagger. <laughs> the default. And then the golden one. Looks like he's got a pretty good hilt on the end there too, but you can't pivot it around to look at it. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like he's got like a like pretzel shaped. <laughs> and then the morning star, which I really liked in the closed beta. The default, the weathered, and then the royal. That looks pretty cool. And then the brutal morning star. Rusty. Default. Twisted Brutal Morning Star. I like that. That looks really cool. And we got shields. Heavy shields. A tower shield. Oh, is this where the heraldry comes in? Cross large. No, that's not. Because that's a line. That's not a large cross. The so tower shield and then stalwart. Oh, there's a ton of different shields. I guess it's just different. It's the same shape. Just uh, different designs, it looks like. I'm just going to quickly click through them just for the 
sake of covering everything. There you go. That's actually a pretty cool design with that. This looks to me like you'll be able to like slot a like a, a spear through there, right? That's what this was for. And I remember in the closed beta, I could take a spear and like brace myself on the ground with it to counter like a, a horse charge or just infantry charge. So maybe, you know, I'm putting one and one together and I'm walking away with two with this. What else do we got? Throwing knife, double edged knife, weathered double edged knife that just looks like a piece of metal. <laughs> and then a uh, royal double edged knife and then single edged knife, weathered default and then royal i don't know what's royal about that i have like eight of them in my kitchen let's see what else there is the throwing axe the francisca the weathered variants and then the royal variants the hurl bat i like that word a lot the weathered hurl bat <laughs> the default hurl bat <laughs> and then the royal hurl bat i guess because it's got a little cut out there and that makes it royal Oh, it's got a pointy end. The other ones? Oh, the other ones do have a pointy end. That probably hurts to hold. That doesn't look comfortable to hold if you weren't wearing, like, gloves. Novelty. What's novelty? Tankard? Hey. Put your epic brew. Take it on the go. The Argon Doll. Interesting. I don't know why you would need that. And then Roses. Interesting. The memers are going to have fun with that. Okay, there you go. That's the weapons. Heraldry, helmet, head. Let's go check out... Um, so, I just set up my knight. Did I buy that? Did I buy the frog? I don't know. I don't know what I did. Let's check out the archer. Okay, so let's do the faces. Here, let's... Wait, we haven't done... We did all the head types. Let's go back. Eye colors blue brown gray green and then hazel all right hairs you got the bald balding the left part shaved short short fade looking looking sharp there buddy thinning bowl of course curly monk of course norman Viking braid. It's in the back, but you can't pivot the guy around to see it. Swept fade. And then the master's cut. <laughs> That's so dorky looking, but it's great. Okay, what else is there? The beard. Oh, yeah, let's see the beard. Clean shave. Stubble. Full. That's, that's a good looking beard right there. Full mustache. Hey. Full no stash for the Amish. Full mutton. Okay. Full unkempt goatee, light long goatee, mustache, mutton, and then sideburns for the Civil War RPers. There you go. Uh, nickname. So, what is this? None. The distance. Oh, so it's like a, a title for your name in game, I guess. So I've unlocked the distant at rank 10 with the archer. And then apparently there's another one I have, sir. <laughs> unlocked by completing the tutorial. All right. Okay. Voice, here we go. Preview voices over here. So this one's called the imposter. I'm no blowhard, but I shall let thou know. Few can match my technique. Ah. I'm no blowhard. But I shall let thou know. Few can match my technique. Ah. I could stand here with mine eyes closed, and thou would still blow it. I'm no blowhard, but I shall let thou know. Few can match my technique. Ah. Okay. So there's the imposter, righteous knight. The zealous knight will bring righteous punishment to the non-believer. By the light. I shall cast down those who have risen against him. And the wicked will know his name in their final moments. And lo, the capricious will show no mercy and cast aside like so many sordid sweepings. 
Okay. Then Squire Boy. He's not a man. He's not a boy. He's a Squire Boy. I've been known to halve melons in the practice yard. Hey, hey, now. Try not to overexert yourself. You might pull a muscle. I've been known to halve melons in the practice yard. So this was the default voice for the archers in the closed beta. And it's got the worst battle cry in the game, if you guys remember that. It was terrible. Engage me at your own peril. What if I am stronger than I look? So I'm glad you're able to customize the voices because I was really annoyed that <laughs> the archer sounded like that. So it's cool that I can pick a different one because I don't like Squire Boy. This is a tough guy. This tough guy loves to fight in 5v1s. Wipe that smile off your face. We're not done with you. You're gonna give the grave digger nightmares. You should kill yourself. Save some unnecessary pain. Jesus. I'll take everything you've ever loved from you. Lick your lips. You'll soon be swallowing my sword. <laughs> All right, and then the Agatha archer, pretty cocky for a rear guard archer. You've still got a lot of armor on. The battle's this way, gorgeous. <laughs> I like that one. If you're trying to fight me, you're going the wrong way. If you throw enough of them, maybe one of them will actually hit me. <laughs> All right, pretty good. The Agatha Archer is definitely the best one there out of the bunch. Uh, face paint options. No face paint. Agatha Braveheart. Agatha Cross. Agatha Elite. Agatha Forehead. Hands. Scout. Stripes. And then terror okay and i'm guessing because it's agatha it's always going to be blue to answer your question if you can change the colors and then imperfections oh, okay freckles freckles aren't imperfections what are you guys talking about cut lip Ooh, that is rough battle worn <laughs> that's pretty cool black eye bloody nose rope scars Ooh. stitches left eye scar oh that's neat Lion scar, right eye scar, there it is. Agatha brand, ouch. Plague, ooh. And then burn scar, okay. Okay, so let's end on. My archer's gonna be handsome. <laughs> um, so I'm curious if. Okay, so all the different classes. What happened to his jaw right there? What happened? What happened to my handsome boy? Oh, that's weird. When you put the helmet on, it like clips his... The bottom of his mouth? That's upsetting. Kettle helmet? There you go. I'm just gonna click through these pretty quickly here. <laughs> A little Robin Hood hat. Crocodile hat. And then no helmet. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, helmet. Armor sets. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Scout armor sets. Champion scout crossbowman. There you go. Did I do longbowman? Yeah, okay. That was the first one I did. Armor sets heraldry. I still don't really... Okay, so it, it is your... um, Like your... Your clothes, um, why can't I think emblem, I guess. So I'm just kind of clicking through these. They don't really seem that crazy cool. Squirrel? <laughs> Crab, okay, now we're getting to the cool ones. Golden Lion, Bend Lion, Dovetailed, Paul, White Blue Lion, Royal Gold. Hey, we got a unicorn here. There you go. Royal Griffin. Bend, Stripe, White Sun, Counter Vare, Vare, Saltier. <laughs> I'm just like trying my best with these words. Flanches Tree, Strip Lion, Quarterly Lions, Royal Lion, Golden Cross, Royal Lion, Half. And then weapons. So knives. You got the hunting knife, the rusty hunting knife. And then the handcrafted hunting knife. So these are weapons that the knight didn't have access to. That the archer does have access to. Holy water sprinkler. What? I don't I don't get that. If that's a joke or a reference. I don't get it. But there it is. Weathered 
holy water sprinkler and then royal holy water sprinkler and we got the war club weathered defaults and royal okay what other weapons the light shield the mini heater and then the jousting shield okay there we go I'm just quickly clicking through these that's oh I'm, did I miss one there we go that one Wait, I still missed one? Oh, I can keep scrolling. There you go. All of these here. A lot of shield options. And then that looks like... Oh, yeah. Of course. The, the actual weapons to be used. The longbow. Weathered longbow. And then the royal longbow. How fancy. The recurve bow. Weathered. Recurve uh, defaults. And then the royal recurve. That's fun. Crossbow. The default. The weathered. Golden. And then engraved. And then the recurve crossbow. Aged. Default. Royal. That's nice. It's a nice looking one. Javelin. Started javelin. Ooh, I like that. That looks really nice. Except the bumps. Why the bumps? I don't like that. Weathered. That's better looking. And then Royal. Ooh, that's slick. That's that's slick looking. And then the Pylum. Weathered. Default. And then Royal. It looks like a big toothpick. <laughs> and that looks like all the specialization options for the Archer armor. I'm pretty sure I clicked through everything. Okay, cool. Let's see what the uh, Vanguard has. Okay, so... Oh, those are all the faces. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the armor. Steel Crusader. Weathered. Painted. Castle Crashers. Engraved. That's pretty cool looking. The Enforcer Helmet. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bucket Helmet. Painted. And golden, nice. Um, is that? Oh, I'm still learning how to maneuver these menus here. Then the armor sets: Crusader, Harnessed, Unbreakable, Champions, Cell Sword. There you go. One, two, and then three, and then Kingsman, Plain Kingsman, Kingsman, Champion Kingsman. Decorated Kingsman. All right. Pretty good there. Heraldry. Don't want that. Weapons. The War Club. Here we go. Rusty Spiked Club. Wait, which one? Where did it go? Oh, he's just kind of... <laughs> you can't even see it. He's holding it like backwards. All right, man. You do you. The Great Sword. Here it is. Default. Worn. Rusty, golden, and engraved. Then we got this Vihander, weathered, defaults. Look at that thing, it's like a dinosaur tooth. And then the Royals Vihander. That's nice. That's nice, and I got it. All right, what else? The Maul, Maulnir. Haha, <laughs> get it? Weathered Maulnir, Royal Maulnir. And then the spiked mall, weathered spiked, default, and then royal spiked. The Dane Axe. I like this one. I remember playing with this and I did like it. Weathered Dane Axe, the Krieger Dane Axe, embellished Dane Axe, decorated Dane Axe, and then carved Dane Axe, headsman Axe, weathered default. And then Royal. There you go. The Glaive. Ooh, that is going to be fun. The War Scythe. The Aged War Scythe. And then the Royal War Scythe. That looks really nice. That's exciting. I don't remember seeing that one. Throwing Mallet. <laughs> Carver's Mallet. Old Carver's Mallet. And Engraved Carver's Mallet. And then Old... Default, carved, and then throwing rocks. Hey, 
There you go. Look at that thing. They uh, yoinked it off of a cave's roof, it looks like. That's pretty cool. That looks like it hurts when it hits you. Okay, so those look like all the specialty weapons for this guy. Let's move on back to the footman. What's going on? What's going on? Helmet. Salad. Or is in the weather salad? Salad. Salad. That, okay, you can do that. That's handy. And then the golden version. The burgeonette. Steel. Painted. It'd be cool. Uh, you can kind of see it. And then golden. That looks really nice. And then trooper helmet. Rusty trooper. Default. And then royal trooper. Wow, that's elaborate. Jeez. No footman would wear that. Unless it's like the king's guard. And those are the helmet. Oh, I keep doing it. It throws me off that helmet isn't part of the armor section, right? You'd think it would kind of be included, but it's two different groups up here. So we got the common footman, the footman. The polished footman, and then the elite footman, the conquistador, plain conquistador, the champion conquistador, etched conquistador, the silver lion. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's like some that's like some Warcraft business right there. And then the golden lion. Nice. I like that a lot. The brigand, common, default, painted, and then champion. Is that, uh, am I gonna, okay, I think that's it. Weapons. Oh, he's got some specialties. The Halby. Oh, it's the Bardish. The Bardish is part of the Halby class. The Weathered Bardish, and then the Royal Bardish. Very cool. The Billhook. Weathered Billhook. Default. And then the Royal Billhook. And then the Weathered Halby. Default. And the Royal Halby. There you go. Another little mustard stain on that one, but that's okay. Pole hammer. The Lucerne. Probably saying that wrong. That looks very familiar. All you Mordhau fans. Weathered. And then Royal. Ooh. That's nice. Double sided hammer. The Worn. The Default. And then the Royal. What else you guys got? A spear here? The Ear Spoon. Ooh. The weathered ear spoon and then the royal ear spoon. Slick. Very slick. The partisan. Weathered partisan. Partisan. And then royal partisan. Very nice. I wish it kind of looked more like a trident, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, sledgehammer. Default. Old sledgehammer. And then studded sledgehammer. Blacksmith sledge. Rusty. Old. Default and then studded. You got a shovel here, regular shovel, rusty shovel, studded shovel. Who in the world would buy a, such a fancy shovel? <laughs> Aged pointed digger, rusty pointed digger, warped pointed digger, and decorative pointed digger. Again, why such a fancy shovel? I mean, I guess why not if you can afford it. Pickaxe, the worn pickaxe, studded pickaxe, and then the matic, old matic, roped pickaxe. Shouldn't that be up in here, you know? QA, please. Uh, matic, and then the embellished matic. Oh, uh, any secondaries? Oh, medium shield, the medium heater, and then the lion's mane. This looks like a very looks like a <laughs> bunch of bananas. Uh, very standard shield, medieval looking shield here. All the different varieties. There you go. I don't think I missed any. All right, and then uh, did I get the knight weapons? Did I get them all? Heavy shield. Yeah. Oh, I just missed that one. I think I got everything. See if there's there's still lights lit up, Forward. but I don't see uh, I don't see that anymore. Is it? Can I switch? There we go. Oh, okay, so when you switch, you it lights everything back up because you haven't seen it. I imagine that 
Oh, that's right. Everybody, each class has different voices. I'm sorry. Let's go. We already did the archer. Let's do the vanguard. This is Dark Prince Vanguard. Try to enjoy your death. It only happens once in a lifetime. <laughs> Come closer. I have something for you. Sounds a lot like Loki. Can you not feel death gazing upon you? Then demigod. Men will tell their grandchildren about what I am going to do to you. Oh, that's the one that says like you can't have a team without me or something like that that I just my eyeballs cringed out of my skull during the close beta when I heard that. I shall reduce you to a fine red mist. And then sell sword. I wrestled sows that would make for a better sparring partner than you. You're so predictable. You couldn't even entertain a doubt. Snobby noble. <laughs> Be gone. You are unworthy of my attention, squire. You ignoble, arrogant, shallow, vulgar, pretentious, conceited, filthy third-rate servant. Oof. Am I to do battle with these one trunk inheriting slaves? And then the Mason Vanguard. Come, you tedious fool, to the purpose. I'll split you open like a ripe melon. Come, you tedious fool, to the purpose. There you go. Let's, uh, okay. Let's listen to the footmen's voices. Drink me in. Oh, so they're all the same. Try to enjoy your death. Except these last ones. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> Mason Man at Arms. You scullion, I'll pickle your catastrophe. Your wife is a hobby horse. <laughs> your virginity breeds mites, much like a cheese. Wow. Your wife is a hobby horse. Brutal. And then let's listen to the knights. Yes. Drink me in. Thou drone, thou snail, thou slug, thou sot. My god, they give the man a cup of water. Your malformed skull is unfit for my piss pot. <laughs> Here comes a group of very strange beasts, which is in all tongues called fools. So it sounds like, you know, when you got the Christmas wrapping paper and it comes on that big tube and then when you're done with the paper and you just have the tube, you like talk into it because you can't help yourself. It doesn't matter what age you are, you still do it. That's kind of what this voice sounds like it's doing with some of these. What a comedy is your defiance. Thou drone, thou snail, thou slug, thou sot. <laughs> I don't think that sounds very good. Some of the other ones sound good, uh, but Mason Knight? Not so hot. Let's switch back to. Oh, this is high switch. Okay. Let's do the Vanguard. I get the Vanguard. I would love to beat thee, but I shall infect my hand. <laughs> Why, you are a man of wax. I would love to beat thee, but I shall infect my hand. Interesting. And then. What's going on? I get the footman voice or man at arms. Run away now. You call that a coat of arms? Ah, I've had sheep put up more fights than you. Ooh. Show me your backside. Tis your best side. You smell like a woman. Cause maybe they are a woman. You ever think of that, buddy? <laughs> and then uh the knights. I get go. the knight voice lines. Contemplation makes a rare Turkey cock of them. How they jet under their advanced plumes. Oh, he is smart like my shoe. Play with dogs that are your chambermaids. Those are two different voices, but okay. Ye blew this fire that burns ye. Interesting. Okay. So there you go. I don't know what else the lights. Like what else am I missing that is that will be lit up? Besides, like, the alternate, uh... Oh, do they all have different... Wow. Okay, so the Masons and the Agathas have different armor sets. Wow. These are way cooler than the Agatha ones.
very cool. And then let's check out the helmets. I'm just going to quickly click through them here. Because we... Oh, that's really nice. The Dreadnought. Here we go. Very cool. Jousting helmet. Ooh, it's got a plume. A bassinet. Did we do that? Yeah, we did that. Heraldry. Weapons. Okay, the shield designs are going to be different. I'm not going to click through all of those. Uh, but all the weapons look the same. The face paint's going to be different, obviously, because it's red. So I'll click through that real quick. And then I'll go through all the other armors. And then that should be literally everything. Let's, go, <laughs> Let's check out the helmets, kettle helmets. There you go, highwayman helmet. And then no helmet. Armor sets, militia. Highwayman. Kind of looks like a, a robber there. And then hunter. And then let's back out of this. It is and check out the footman helmet. Militants, that's pretty cool looking. Morion. Okay, so it's a kettle helmet. That one's pretty cool looking. And then soldier helmet. And then let's do the armor sense. Soldier, common soldier. Gorget. Cowled. Decorative and mercenary. Very cool. And then Frontier. I wonder why it's called Frontier. Don't know. And the shields have different designs. Okay. Well, there you go. That was pretty extensive and exhaustive uh, look at the customization options currently available uh, in the open beta. Of course, it could all change by the time the game releases. But I just wanted to kind of go through it all with you guys. Some of you may not be able to access the open beta. It's uh, cross-platform and available right now. Up until, I believe, the 1st, the 2nd of June. I'm not 100% sure. There's a link in the video description where you can find all the details. But that's going to do it for this look at the customization in Shiv 2. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, look for gameplay coming very soon epic bro but until then hope everybody has a great rest of their day stay safe stay healthy i'll catch you all next time